Chairman of the Tushau Council, Joel Fedrick, said there are a number of issues to be discussed. He also made an appeal to government to listen to their concerns. Where do we fit in contributing to the development of this country? So we are looking forward for this five days of intense deliberation, communication, talking to each other and listening to each other. And at the end, we can come back and as an executive and say, okay, we have a plan now. How can we prepare a plan to work with the government for the development of these villages and to address these issues? Fredericks also said the indigenous people know where they want to go and they are calling on the government to help them reach their goals. We respect the government at the end of the day and we want to work together in achieving goal that can leave a legacy for the indigenous peoples. As our Honorable Minister said, Guyana, as far as I know, is the only country where the indigenous people have a piece of document, the legislation, because the, the act we recognize that the, there are some parts of the act need amendment. The theme for this year's National Tushar Council is Ghana's First People, Preserving Our Culture and Land for Life. 212 indigenous leaders are expected to attend the NTC at the Archie Chang Conference Center. According to Minister of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, Sidney Alicock, some of the main issues are land, economic independence, and the right for better education. We are strong. Our unity is strength. And we want to get back to that so we do not intend to keep our people on a waiting stand. Rather, to become confident, to be able to be free to express themselves, and to exploit the opportunities with their imaginations to create a livelihood out of their own environment. All of the ministers of government are expected to be there to listen to the concerns of indigenous leaders and to find common ground in helping Amerindian in reaching their goal of food security, land rights, and social and economic independence. See the long-term benefit indirectly from the oil exploration and that is what we need to be prepared for now and this is what we are going to be discussing with the various two shows of getting them in readiness to have products agricultural produce being sold into the food chain, hopefully. It means that we will have to have, through the Ministry of Agriculture, some aggressive marketing people work to find those markets and to package them in a way that it could be sold, even in the Caribbean. Andrew Weeks, Safe TV 2, Headline News.